hello my dear students big welcome to back my channel today I am going to discuss about a very important topic that is how we can calculate the equivalent resistance of an unbalanced Houston breeze hope you will stay with me up to the end of this video here the schematic diagram of a Houston breeze is given the resistances are here P equals to 8 ohms Q equals to 12 ohms R equals to 16 ohms S equals to 20 ohms G the resistance of galvanometer is 5 ohms here the potential difference of the battery or cell is 3 volt and internal resistance of the cell is 2 ohms now we consider this junction as A, this junction as B, this junction is C and this junction is D. We also consider the potential at point A is VA, at point B is VV, at point C is VC and at point D is VD. Okay. Here the potential difference of the cell is 3 volt. Therefore, the potential of this positive terminal will be 3 volt and the negative terminal will be 0 volt. Now, as the point A is directly connected with the positive terminal of the cell, therefore the potential difference at A will be VA equals to 3 volt. And as the junction C is directly connected with the negative terminal of the cell, that's why the potential at point C is VC equals to 0 volt. Now the potential at point A and at point B and at point D are R non. We have to calculate it. But here the resistance of P is less than the resistance of R. Therefore the voltage drop at point B will be less than the voltage drop at point D. It implies that the potential at point B is greater than at point D. Therefore, current will flow from B to D, but not from D to B. Okay, now, now first of all, we have to know what types of this breeze is. To know it, we have to calculate the ratio between P and Q and also R and S. If their ratio is equal, then the breeze will be in balance. But if the ratio are not equal, then the breeze will be unbalanced. Okay, now here P by Q equals to P is 8, Q is 12. So we get point six six seven again the ratio of r and s here r is 16 and s is 20 and we get 0 0.8 so we get that their ratio are not same therefore the breeze is an unbalanced breeze okay so it is difficult to calculate the equivalent resistance in conventional way like us balance Houston breeze but I am not stuck now what we can do we can consider the junction B okay at junction B we can apply Kirchhoff's junction law when we switch on this key then current will flow from the cell suppose this current is I which is called main current when this main current reach at point A then it will divide it into two paths suppose the current along AB is 
I1 along AD is I2. Now when this current I1 reach at point B, then it again divided into two paths. One is along BD and another is along BC. Suppose the current along BD is IZ and the current along BC is I3. Okay, when this current IG reach at point D, then the current I2 meets with it and they together I2 plus IG makes current I4. Suppose this current I4 flows from D to C. Okay, at C the current I3 and I4 meets together. Okay, and here we get I3 plus I4 is equals to the main current I. So the main current again come back to the cell. Okay, this is the current of the different branches of this circuit. Now at point B, I1 is incoming current and IG is outgoing current, I3 is also outgoing current. That's why we can apply here Kirchhoff's junction law as I1 minus IZ minus I3 equals to zero. Now we can use the Ohm's law to calculate the current I1. We know from Ohm's law that I equals to V by R. That is I is equals to the uh, change of potential or potential difference and the associate uh, resistance. Therefore, here I1 can be written as the potential difference between the junction A and B and uh, the associate resistance is P. So, using Ohm's law, we can write here I1 as VA minus VB divided by P. Similarly, we can write IG as here IG, the potential difference between B and D is VB minus VD divided by the resistance G minus I3 is here VB minus VC divided by the resistance Q equals to 0. Now we can put the values here VA equals to 3 volt minus VB is unknown and P is 8 minus VB is unknown VD is also unknown and Z is 5 ohms. Next VB is unknown, VC is 0 and Q is here 12 equals to 0. Now we can take the LCM of 8, 5, 12. Then we get 120. Okay, then here we can write 15 into 3 minus VB minus 24 VB minus VD minus 10 VB equals to 0. Next from it, after calculation we can write 45 minus 49 VB plus 24 VD equals to 0. Let this equation is equation number 1. Okay. Similarly, we can apply the Kirchhoff's law at junction D. Okay. At point D, applying the Kirchhoff's junction law, here I2 is incoming current I G is incoming current but I4 is outgoing current so that's why we can write I2 plus IZ minus I4 equals to 0. 
okay now i2 i2 we can write as va minus vd divided by r okay next ig equals to vb minus vd divided by g and i4 as vd minus vc divided by s equals to zero okay now we can put the values va is 3 volt vd is unknown r is here 16 ohms plus vv is unknown vd is also unknown to us and g is 5 minus vd and here vc is we know 0 and the value of s is 20 equals to 0 now we can take the lcm of 16 5 and 20 then we get 160 so from it we can write 10 3 vd plus here thirty two V V minus V D minus eight V D equals to zero. After calculation finally we get thirty plus thirty two V B minus fifty V D equals to zero. Let we consider this equation is equation number two now we have already two equation equation one and equation two okay now if we multiply equation one by 50 and we uh, if and uh, also add uh, with equation two who is we can again multiply by here 24 and then if we add these two equation finally we get vv equals to 1.766 volt okay and vd equals to 1.73 volt okay so here we got the potential at point B and at point D okay now we can easily calculate the current I1 I2 I3 I4 by using this value like as as we have the value of VB and VD that's why we can calculate the current I1 as I1 equals to VA minus VV divided by P. That is 3 minus VB is 1.766 divided by P is 8. So here I1 equals to zero point one five four two five ampere okay and similarly i2 equals to here uh, here is i2 va minus vd divided by r and va is 3 volt vd is 1.73 and r is 16 okay so i2 equals to here 0 0.079 ampere okay so as we have i1 and i2 therefore using here the junction law we get the main current of this circuit is i equals to i1 plus i2 okay here i1 is 0 0.15425 plus 0 0.079 so the main current of this breeze is here 
zero point two three three six ampere okay similarly we can calculate uh, the current of any branches uh, at the same process okay uh, so the equivalent resistance will be here you know i equals to e divided by r e q here in equivalent resistance we also consider the internal resistance of the cell so from this equation we can write that we can write that r equivalent is e divided by i here e is 3 and i is 0 0.2336 so here the equivalent resistance is finally we get 12.84 ohms hope you got your answer and thank you for watching this class if you have any question you can send me in my inbox keep smiles